<laughs> he had removed her eyes and ripped out her tongue with his bare hands. Might be that that friend who who recommended him to join the prayer group might not be actually getting him to the church to help him, but probably to exercise him right from the start. That like how can a person suddenly get possessed and just uh, start acting weird? <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, fuck it. Nahi, yeh, shuru nahi karenge. Directly we'll start. Mm-hmm. Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Ghost Encounters Unfiltered podcast. Uh, we saw ke aap logon ka response kya tha to the previous two episodes and we just want to thank everyone of you for all the love, all the support for being there jab uh, premiere ho raha ho jab uh, you know, you're commenting, you're letting us know your views, you're liking what we are doing. and i think i'm very glad all of us are very glad that you could connect to what we are doing and at the end of the day that's what we wanted thank you so much for uh, approving what we are doing also jo logon ko nahi pata hai ki we are also putting up our episodes on spotify on apple podcast and other platforms and jiska link hum log description mein dal dete hain so in case you are uh, you know you are you are traveling or you are driving and you want to listen to just the audio part of our podcast you can just go do it from spotify or apple and uh, we are back again with another podcast another episode of us the members the investigators of uh, pairs uh, you know dissecting one of the famous cases a case that is not necessarily ours uh, or can be ours but uh, a case that we are going to dissect for you people and give our opinion the opinions of paranormal investigators psychics exorcists demonologists and come to a conclusion or try to come to a conclusion ke kya ho sakta tha kya ho sakta hai regarding a case and this time too we have a very very special case to discuss i think we are recording this uh, case thrice now pehle do baar for some reason nahi ho paya public nahi ho paya publish nahi ho paya yahi tha yahi episode tha i don't know kya reason kya hai but jo bhi reason hai i think I think I think we have overcome that that uh, thing. Let's hopefully. And if it doesn't uh, happen yeah. even this time, also I think so. We chuck it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I, th- I think I think we should. That's the only way yeah. out. Because all को समझ में ही नहीं आ रहा है कि you know क्या है. Just a second, everyone. We we have a very special case to discuss, and uh, as usual, I will read it out uh, because मुझे गलत नहीं होना है in terms of facts and informations that are actually जो कि मतलब सही होने चाहिए and हम लोग उसको assume नहीं कर सकते हैं but before we begin, hi, my name is Arbhajit, and we have Pooja, Savio, and we are the investigators, exorcists, psychics, demonologists of uh, the Ghost Encounters team. जिसके जिनके इन्वेस्टिगेशन वीडियोस आपने ऑलरेडी देखे होंगे हमारे चैनल पे अगर नहीं देखा है तो वो भी देख लो साइड बाय साइड बट टू नाइट वी हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरेस्टिंग केस फॉर आर व्यूअर्स आर लिसनर्स प्लस हमारे को होस्ट ऑफ द पॉडकास्ट एज यूजल हम लोगों ने ऑलरेडी बात कर लिया है बट एवरी टाइम वी रिकॉर्ड दिस केस आई थिंक समथिंग न्यू इज कमिंग आउट एंड दैट्स वाई यू नो इट्स हैपनिंग so many times and like like you said agar hota hai to hota hai nahi hota hai to we check it fuck it basically itna nahi ja sakte hum log case ke piche so this time this evening again we are discussing about uh, our guy michael taylor and uh, shayad aap logo ko yaad bhi nahi hoga kyunki kafi mahine pehle humne record kiya tha so i'll just reread uh, and uh, evening, evening is a very mild way of putting it yeah you said we are recording it this evening <laughs> recording tonight actually maine bola It's two night right now. I don't know what is the time. It's almost two a.m. It's it's two a.m. actually. Yeah. It's two, na? Yeah. So, abhi bhi agar like nahi karna hai ye video dekhe. I don't know. Show us a paranormal investigator or a team of paranormal investigators who is so committed to bring you content. Ke ham log raat ke do baje bhi record kar rahe hain. First time when we were recording it, it was three a.m. Three a.m. Yeah, yeah. And we have this dialogue. Yeah. And I just hope we everything <laughs> goes well. We post this this time. <laughs> <laughs> but but let let's start with the case. Uh, you know, so Michael Taylor was thirty one years old when this incident happened. But you know, he was a father to five children and he was a husband to Christine Taylor. And uh, it was 1974, and Michael used to live this life, which many people say was very idle life. You know, like everyone dreamt of a life 
that he was living with his kids with his pet dog with his wife Christian and the Tiller family, uh, family lived in a small home in on- Osset uh, West Yorkshire and neighbors described Michael as mild mannered and generally kind occasionally Michael Taylor would suffer from depressive episodes he would become withdrawn and refuse to interact with family and friends family would let, uh, let uh, later say a back injury earlier in life which caused issues with Michael finding full time employment led to his depressive episodes Michael was by all accounts a caring father and a husband the Taylor family was not devout they lived with a few miles of multiple churches but never really found the time to attend in a highly religious town like Osset this behavior just wouldn't stand a friend of Michael's who had decided his depression was caused by spiritual forces convinced him to start attending a weekly prayer meeting the group was run by one Mary Robinson her soft spoken for a form of old time religion seemed to appeal Michael at least that's what everyone thought in the beginning as time went on michael began spending a ludicrous amount of time with mary at first he just threw himself into the prayer group going to every meeting and all functions the church held he quickly fell deeper in mary's teachings attending meetings where group members were exorcised and demons were cast out with what they called the power of god They also began to engage in private rituals in which both Michael and Robinson, Mary Robinson, would stay up all night making the sign of cross at each other in order to ward off what they believed was the evil power of the full moon. In fact, it soon became very very clear to rest of the congregation that Michael had become rather enamored with Robinson. Unsurprisingly, Michael's attitude at home towards his family began to change as a result. He was spending less and less time at home with the family and when he was there with them, he was sullen and irritable and very argumentative. One day Michael's wife openly called him unfaithful and that he was having an affair. Something triggered Michael at that moment. It was so serious that the church decided that an exorcism needs to be performed on michael because he rushed towards mary trying to attack her or trying to be aggressive with her no one knows why but the church decided that he is possessed by demonic forces and that an exorcism is what he needs two ministers by the names of father peter vincent and the reverend raymond smith were brought in to carry it out and the exorcism was set to happen for midnight on 5th of october 1974 at St Thames Church in Barnsley Now that night in front of the congregation of the Christian Fellowship group the two minister began the harrowing ritual which would prove to last throughout the night and well into the next morning As soon as the exorcism had started Michael went into uncontrollable convulsions and fits and bouts of scratching spitting and biting requiring him to be forcefully tied to the floor Over the next 5 to 8 hours Michael was subjected to all sorts of you know rituals such as having crucifixes shoved into his mouth and being doused with holy water uh, all throughout Michael was growling snapping at anyone who came near him the priest in charge of the exorcism claimed that the ceremony had managed to ascertain that there were about 40 demons inhabiting Michael's body representing such traits as incest bestiality blasphemy lewdness hearsay masochism and canal knowledge as one can imagine this alleged demons did not go easily from michael each one having to be reportedly dragged out kicking and screaming after 8 hours by 8 am on october 6 1974 the priests carrying out the exorcism could no longer continue through exhaustion strangely it was decided that exorcism would have to be finished at a later time Although the priests claimed that three demons those of insanity anger and murder were still stubbornly possessing Michael and had not been successfully removed yet apparently the congregation which had been present for exorcism agreed in part for one witness to the terrifying events a minister's wife named M- Margaret Smith was to claimed late- later that she had received a warning in her mind from what she believed to be god saying that the demon of murder was going to escape from michael and kill christian she pleaded with the two priests to complete the exorcism but they dismissed her warnings and instead told michael and christian to go home to take some rest and come back the next day for the exorcism to continue 
it was about 9:45 am uh you know the very next morning on october 7th and uh, not just 2 hours after michael and christian had been sent home to rest up to prepare for the next part of the exorcism that a police patrol car passing through the normally quiet streets of osset came upon a shocking and unnerving sight coming around a corner the officer in the car pc Ian Walker was confronted by the sight of a man stumbling around in the middle of the street naked and covered head to toe in blood. His body was slicked with it. Stopping the car and approaching the man, PC Walker saw the man curl into a fetal position and heard him ranting and screaming over and over, "It is the bl- blood of Satan." Unsurprisingly, this had attracted a crowd of onlookers, some of which knew the disturbed man. the man was none other than our guy michael taylor the police officers who had approached the man immediately called for an ambulance fearing that michael had hurt himself or someone else and tried his best to talk to the calm michael who was still screaming uh, senseless ranting only about satan he continued screaming as the ambulance from the local hospital arrived and he was placed into it and taken away The crowd of onlookers who had crowded around the ambulance now told police that deranged maniac was Michael Taylor and gave the officer his address to which the patrol car then went to and this is where the horrific incident <coughs> was reported by the police officers who went to his house the Taylor's house and they were surprised and perhaps apprehensive uh you know to even enter because the moment PC Walker the man who found Taylor uh reached the address he saw that there was already a patrol car standing outside and there are already few officers inside the house pc walker approached the house but was stopped by the sight of his inspector emerging from the front door bending over and vomiting in a maniacal and deranged attack michael had stripped off and strangled christine and had literally torn off her face there was no murder weapon involved he had he had removed her eyes and ripped out her tongue with his bare hands tearing the rest of her face down to the bone so much so that she was left unrecognizable while christian had died of shock and you know like uh, ap- apne khoon se she drowned in her own blood mercifully quickly michael had turned his attention to the pet dog they had and uh, who he strangled and literally ripped every limb of the dog he had torn its legs from the sockets and hair and teeth and eyes from the skull everyone said it was the exorcism that turned michael what he became and went on to do with his wife and the family i still got goosebumps on hearing Yeah, even I actually uh, forgot about this case. I mean, because it's been, <coughs> it's been. I mean, I guess for more than two more. weeks that we. Uh, a month. A month. Yeah. Oh yeah. yes. Oh yes. Over a month. December. Okay. Uh, starting me. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, even when I'm listening to it back again, it was like, uh, I mean, fresh. Um, yeah, a fresh thing for me. And, And honestly, na, पिछली बार जो मैंने सुना था दो बार. I was like, am I hearing the same story? Because new things popped up as I was uh, hearing. I probably I missed it out last time. Yeah, जो भी था. Yeah, मतलब मतलब पता नहीं मतलब this 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 story is very similar to exorcism of uh, uh, not Emily Rose of course the. Annalise Mitchell. No no the Conjuring three movie that Conjuring recently came three. out. Ah. Uh, the devil made me do it. The era made out जाता that movie ना वो जो पुलिस पेट्रोल कार एंड ही से the devil made me do it yeah goi yeah, that i might have heard someone karke and they hmm. take him and a court case goes on you have not watched no, i have watched it so it's a very famous case by the warrens where uh, you know my relation with the horror movies yeah yeah <laughs> uh, but it, it is a case where uh, the warrens are taking up a case where they they are literally taking um, the belief of the existence of demons to the court of law 
you know where they are actually saying that when and it's a part of the movie very beautifully shown of course uh, uh, apart from all the bad things that the movie went through in the storytelling the case was very interesting because uh, while uh, you know while they are uh, putting their case in front of the judge who is about to fight for the guy who they found on the street claiming that the devil made him do it they said that you know when you are standing in the courtroom you can take uh, uh as as in you you start speaking in the name of god you know you touch the bible or you know you you say that in the name of god whatever it is so how can you disagree that there could be a devil too you know that was their argumentative sentence that led the uh, uh the lawyer to take up the case who was who gets ready to you know fight and put the thing that the man was actually possessed uh to commit a crime like that and that he didn't do it it was the devil who made him do it and of course the story shows that uh warrants uh that the police are taking help of the warrants the psychic abilities and all to prove that actually kya hua tha and how things happened which is very very beautifully shown why because i connect to the two of you when i see that scene you know uh, if you remember that dumping ground wala uh, place in goa where you touched and you saw the graves where the ants ne ghar jahan pe banaya tha there is an exact scene in the in the movie where warren touches the ground and she gets convert uh, not converted as in she is kind of transported to that world jahan pe incident hua tha and she is seeing everything right uske uh, samne and i'm like you know this is what my psychic too even in in, in in exorcism when you're talking about this when it comes to a criminal case yeah. you may you may say all that you want that it was a devil that made me do it but you have to be convicted man yeah because you did it mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 matlab matlab abhi there are a lot of weird examples then koi de sakta hai and bolega ki ye maine nahi kiya tha ye to mere se ho gaya you can gas you can gaslight your wife you can gaslight your husband but you cannot gaslight the law yeah Yeah, uh, yeah, ये वाली स्टोरी में द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट एक्चुअली स्ट्रक मी वॉज कि द नेबर्स क्लेम दैट दिस मैन हैड बाउट्स ऑफ डिप्रेशन या ठीक है पहली चीज सो इफ यू हैड बाउट्स ऑफ डिप्रेशन प्रॉबली द रिलेशनशिप विद द वाइफ देर कुड बी यू नो समथिंग रॉन्ग और वॉट एवर दैट मीन्स समथिंग रॉन्ग विद द रिलेशनशिप दूसरी चीज रॉन्ग एज इन बिकॉज ही वॉज डिप्रेसिव एंड शायद वाइफ समझ नहीं रही होगी एंड कुछ चल रहा होगा आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग द पॉइंटर्स दैट स्ट्रक मी दूसरी चीज सडनली दे क्लेम द पर्सन की वो पोजेस्ट है एंड उसका एग्जॉर्सिज्म शुरू किया आइडियली देर आर स्टेजेस ऑफ पोजेशन मतलब एकदम से पोजेशन नहीं होता है हाँ करेक्ट है ना तो मतलब देर इज इन्फेस्टेशन देर इज ऑब्सेशन ऑपरेशन पोजेशन जो भी स्टेजेस हैं but nothing of that like how can a person suddenly get possessed and just uh, start acting weird when actually very good point though matlab just because they saw one incident and they just concluded and ke, what was that incident where they concluded he, he just aggressively him? charged towards uh, robinson christine not oh. christian not christian christian is the his other wife guy. christian is the wife yeah Haan. he charged towards Mary. that other mary mary uh, robinson yeah, yeah, yeah. robinson us pe charge kiya oh चर्च टू अप्रूव फॉर एक्सरसिज्म नीड इनफ एविडेंसिस टू अलाउ के हाँ इधर एक्सरसिज्म कर सकते हैं बिकॉज फॉर देम ऑल्सो इट्स अ वेरी इट्स अ प्रॉपर थिंग यू नो इट्स सो प्रॉब्लम दोज ऑर दॉइंट चर्च इज राइट नाउ working on working on so that point of time probably they just approved it and because of all these cases right now probably the church is saying that no we need to look further into things before approving this to be on uh, an exhaust but playing the devil's advocate what if he was actually a killer from the beginning he was just like wo andar daba hua tha something triggered it might be might be and uh, i mean when you when you spoke about him being very mild manner yeah he was very decent you've also said that they weren't a very faithful people they yeah, were they're not devout now they were not devout they were not like uh, they were not associated with any one particular judge, church there yeah. were many and uh, we don't know the reason why they hopped from one yeah. place to the other 
we might always put the blame upon the church or the congregation over there but uh, you cannot exonerate them also from this uh, from from their duties yeah. of being a uh, citizens yeah. yes uh, they may be called uh, mild mannered and in our society also we see a lot of people who are like that mild mannered but what is going on inside is something mm-hmm. that is unknown yeah mild mannered khali bahar se agar dikh rahe it does not mean you know that the person is actually mild and yeah. i have seen cases like that as a healer also so it just takes a trigger to get it out exactly that's what i'm saying ke what if But abhi see abhi uh, we are talking about 1974 we are talking a place like osset where it is already being established that people are very religious uh, in terms of church wahan pe and uh, you know of course they were constantly doing things to ward off negative energies or entities that could be triggered because of new moon they were also performing exorcism to ward off demons and all so they were kind of you know constantly in that frame of demons exorcism demons exorcism demons exorcism and they were they were drawing crosses uh, that's to what i said to ward off uh, evil entities that's what i'm saying so ha huh, and because they're constantly in there so kaisa hota hai na like that's how the human mind is if you're constantly in that one stage everything you see look here is going to make you feel like ki are ye to isi ke waise ho raha hai you know that's how the human mind is if you are constantly thinking about that is, that is like a religious uh, fanatism and not just religious fanatism that is of course a part of it uh, kind of like a latter stage but what i'm saying is from the thing that originates from the mind now for example if you are thinking that uh, for example for a person who is paranoid you know uh, let's say paranoid to cars or accidents so every time he is on the road he sees a car crossing he'll say ki ye mere taraf to nahi aa raha ये मेरे तरफ तो नहीं आ रहा है सो फॉर द पीपल टू कंक्लूड दैट ही इज पोजेस्ड दे वर ऑलरेडी इन दैट माइंड फ्रेम सेट वॉट एवर कि पोजिशन ये होता है डिमोनिक पोजिशन ये होता है एक्सोसिज्म ये होता है इसने ऐसा किया तो इसको अभी एक्सोसिज्म करो सो दे नेवर टुक एनी अदर चांस टू फिगरिंग आउट कि वो कौन से स्टेज में है अगर वहां पे स्टेजेस था तब के जमाने में तो बेसिकली एज आई थिंक वी इवन डिस्कस दिस फर्स्ट वाले इसमें एनालिस्ट मिशेल वाले में कि एनीथिंग दैट इज गोइंग बियॉन्ड अ सर्टेन सेट ऑफ नॉर्म्स दैट दे आर सेटिंग कि नहीं ये एक नॉर्मल ह्यूमन बीइंग है इसके बियॉन्ड अगर कुछ जा रहा है तो वो प्रोजेस्ट है that's what i mean to say i mean when i said uh, religious fanatism it's like that they are uh, terming people in binaries you're either in or you're out exactly you're either a devout person or you're a possessed person mm-hmm. so if and these people were not that devout so those people who were overtly devout used to see them as probably being the, the entire yeah. family being weird so at that point of time i mean if you had a bout of depression so it's very easy for them to say that you're possessed and might be that that friend who who recommended him to join the prayer group might not be actually getting him to the church to help him but probably to exercise him right from the start so when that triggered oh. when that trigger when, when he might have had outbursts at other people and uh, as you said his relationship along with mary robinson was very good but when the final straw came and when he actually charged at her at that point of time she raised her hand and said you know what oh i give up and now we need to I think what you are saying also kind of uh matlab acha khasa bad tha why because some people also consider depression to be a demonic thing and back then abhi to baat alag hai back then if someone like is already mentioned that he was having episodes of depression that's the reason I put up that point jo maine first wo bola tha na ki he was showing uh, symptoms of depression yeah so there are there are already Ha huh? so now and, everything and back then i mean i don't know i mean if they even knew about depression no so they just not. saw a person uh, uh, spending some time aloof alone somewhere in the moor or whatever it's the island right yeah. so there might be very lonely places where he used to be traveling alone or walking alone just completely you know sad or something like that and people i don't know they didn't they didn't see that as a disease or depression even today also people don't acknowledge depression to be a disease they just think that the person is sad and they just come on cheer up come on join us to the club come on have a drink or oh, whatever good lead that is what they recommend for people to get out of depression that's not that's not what depression is depression is actually a proper disease so that point of time when they saw a person actually deviating away from Normalcy. people from society 
and society means as in the churches yeah, of yeah, that yeah. time normal so they have decided yeah so everybody yeah. rumored and you know what ye wo yahan par nahi tika wahan par nahi tika wahan nahi tika to matlab there is some problem hai so there's a high chance ki actually depression word ab jo ye story likhi hai usme dala gaya ho probably you know they would have True. written the symptoms ki aisa 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 ke sath hota tha acha ye shayad depression mein tha retrospective so, wisdom Huh. So you know the latest versions of the story. But then also I imagine what the guy must be going through. Just, मतलब वही ना मतलब जैसे कि उसके साथ completely uh, in a way from one point of view since we are dissecting and we'll be putting all kind of point of views here. One point of view can be के he was just a bichara. मतलब के for example Possible? he was going through depression. Of hmm. course he already has own issues, his own demons to fight, his you know own disease to. Uh, attend to, of course he can't share with his wife because wife क्यों समझेगी पता भी नहीं like you like we are talking तब शायद topic professionally कुछ था भी नहीं कि depression कुछ था treatment दूर की बात है he cannot talk in the church properly so he used to keep it to himself and then you know and that's why exactly he couldn't stay in in any one form of employment that's what that's what and you know and you know so what I'm trying to what I'm coming to is के वो church जाता है and church में something triggers him and he becomes aggressive and वो बिचारे को बांध के लेके जाते हैं this is just one point of view उसको बांध के लेके जाते हैं and they are putting crosses in his mouth ये जो बिचारा वाला ये telling ना वो ये दो जगह पे मुझे actually ये बिचारा feel हुआ although whatever he did I mean I I'm not saying कि वो ठीक था whatever but this point only this he, episode this exorcism this, no, episode no, ha two places actually this part ki uske duniya bhar ki cheeze kar rahe hain and anyone will be screaming howling crying in pain when you are doing something like this to a person and the second this thing struck me was when he came out and he said uh, that this is the blood of satan satan this is the blood of satan means obviously wo uska blood nahi tha uske upar wo uski wife ka blood tha so he is addressing her as satan hmm. so there is a high chance ki like as i always say hame dono side of the story pata honi chahiye now we don't know the other part of the story hmm. what if the wife was actually You know, that's right. Yeah, yeah, but then what I am trying to say is, uh, you are saying something else than what I am trying to. मुझे यहाँ बिचारा हाँ नहीं बिचारा fine is fine नहीं but what what point of view I am trying to show is के वो बिचारा था उसके साथ जो episode हुआ in the exorcism was pure abuse and torture. Hmm. You know जो भी उसके साथ किए with the the holy water and you know कोई इंसान जिसकी गलती नहीं हो बार बार उसको ऐसे दबाया जाए ऐसे कि तेरे में डीमन है उसको पढ़ा जा रहा है सब कुछ किया जा रहा है नो दिस ऑल दोज थिंग्स दैट द पर्सन गोज थ्रू ही इज गोइंग थ्रू इट एंड देन ही गोज होम होम एंड देन ही यू नो काइंड ऑफ काइंड ऑफ वॉट यू से मैनिफेस्ट एज एन ही बुचर्स द एंटायर फैमिली इंक्लूडिंग द डॉग इट कुड बी दैट यू आर जस्ट फकिंग एंग्री कि मेरे साथ क्यों आई ये चीज and it could be the anger came out on christian because christian could be the one saying nahi nahi inko exorcism ki zarurat hai he, he is not behaving him himself but since past few days jab se charcha hai even i see the same thing i mean uh, you know looking at his history along with christian also he yeah. never had a very smooth relationship with yeah. everybody used to say that you know what he just aloof no no again j- 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 sorry to cut you off i'm not trying to justify what he did was correct yeah, yeah obviously all i'm trying to remove uh, is the demonic part yes, out yes. of that nobody can nobody can actually exonerate him from whatever he has done no that's that's what he did was exactly wrong yeah. but we are trying to dissect the situation as to what exactly led him to do all these things yeah right and whatever he has done was really wrong it was wrong but then what was also done to him was also wrong it was a completely botched up uh, exorcism ritual that conducted over there was cut conducted over there probably he required more counseling yeah. probably required more therapy he, he yeah. might have required even medical help yeah. also nobody knows and nobody has put it up to paper as to why did he leave so many jobs why i mean probably he was getting even aggressive over there yeah that's yeah. the reason he was uh, yeah. kicked off the job he was not having a very good relationship al- along with his wife and then that's the reason he got more close to uh, uh, mary, mary robinson mary. yeah right and god knows what transpired over there that actually m- might have even triggered uh, his wife christine again and then afterwards she might have uh, got some more people to tell him you know what he is possessed might be she actually led him to be possessed like that yeah i mean possession can also be anger 
yeah yeah mm. of course of course anywhere you, where you lose your self consciousness is you are possessed by something or the other it can be any emotion happiness sadness anger whatever you know but as we are talking i can also see another point of view here is uh the the not just a depression part but uh, from the very beginning he was uh showing signs of possession christian never saw it true you know ah. he she could never recognize kyunki shayad usko idea nahi hoga and they never went to church no to shayad usko knowledge bhi nahi hoga ki acha isse mm. manifestation bolte hain isko infestation bolte hain mm. to usne kabhi mark kiya nahi mm. but when things got out of control tab you know hai. tab things happened and he wo he showed his true colors and he went on to kill the wife and everything because as i always say Okay, you know, to to do an act like that, what what he did, like you said, you know, you cannot blame the devil here, hundred percent. Of course, he has some part to play if you are actually possessed, but still, the blame is on you because you allowed him to do so at the end of the day, you know. So, अगर इसमें भी वैसा कुछ है जो उसने कांड किया है, you actually actually have to be possessed with anger or with demons so much so that you forget कि humanity करके कुछ होती है. Oh, you are. जो कि अभी चल रहा है ना फिलहाल दिल्ली का जो केस चल रहा है उसके बाद भी बहुत कुछ जो केसेस आए ऑफ यू नो मदर एंड सन किलिंग देयर ओन हस्बैंड एंड फादर एंड कटिंग हिम इनटू पीसेस एंड डूइंग इट इवन फॉर दैट मैटर द माथेरान केस वेयर वी वेयर इन माथेरान जहां पे दिस मैन किल्ड हिज वाइफ एंड ही टुक हिज हेड विथ हिम लेफ्ट द बॉडी इन द होटल रूम आई एम लाइक आई द मैन अब इंसान हो यार एक दूसरे इंसान के साथ मतलब I don't know. And coming to the calmness part, we were literally. Uh, I didn't. I don't think you saw him. हम हम लोग हम लोग हम जहाँ पर रह रहे थे वहीं पर उसका सेल था और वो दिख रहा था हमें from the road. Yeah, I saw him while we were on the court cart now. Yeah, yeah. I, I did him? see him. Yeah, in passing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and पहली चीज़ तो it's weird that the cell was facing the road and we could literally see that man's. and he was so calm he was so composed jaise ki kuch nahi hua hai nee, very I was similar just trying to yeah, read so, his body language yeah so if if we connect uh, him with michael right now or even that guy who was in conjuring 3 they were calm they were shocked but they were calm they were yeah. like a, it's like it they have no idea what they did they are not in their conscious self right now to understand what they did because they think they were possessed by an external entity that made them do it जिस माथेरान गए तो ऐसा लग रहा था उसे देख के दैट ही वाज ओके विद व्हाट ही डिड या ही वाज ही वाज मोर ऑफ दैट लेट मी पुट अ सम पर्सपेक्टिव्स टू दिस ओके एंड हियर मी आउट एंड देन हैव टू टेल मी नाउ द कॉज ऑफ एनी डेथ एट द एंड इज ऑलवेज अ हार्ट अटैक बिकॉज़ इट्स अ हार्ट दैट स्टॉप्स पंपिंग एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट इट इज बट राइट नाउ हॉस्पिटल्स एंड डॉक्टर्स एंड एवरीबॉडी विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट अ मेडिकल सर्टिफिकेट व्हिच हैज अ रीजन एज अ हार्ट अटैक या what are the reasons leading to the heart attack has to be figured out yeah. figured out first right be it through a, a normal uh, say analysis diagnosis or through post mortem so over here the final thing the nail in the coffin that led him to get to a case was the murder yeah now the murder was the end of it all but what caused the murder now there are different crimes when it comes to murder one is known as a crime of passion one is known as a crime of revenge i had that and one is a cold blooded murder Do you think this was a cold-blooded murder because he was depressed all along, and he was always, as as Sarba said, he was a stone-cold uh, uh, operator who was just waiting for his opportunity? Do you think this was a crime of passion because it was his wife involved, and probably all these years of uh, a tumultuous relationship yeah. along with his wife that it finally came out that you know what you uh, put me up to this. all these things when i trusted you all this all along i brought you this dog for you i gave you children i gave you everything i gave you everything for that matter i mean even your employ my employment and everything was for you was it a crime of passion or was it a crime of revenge because she put it up she put him up to it to the possession he went through the entire ordeal through the entire night that harrowing rituals that they come i mean uh, conducted on him. him who was a mild mannered gentleman yeah. to begin with and had to put up with all these things humiliation completely yeah. so when he went back home the only person who could take the revenge on was his wife so yeah. what was it cold blooded passion for, or 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 a theory for both what i feel it's a combination of two passion and revenge 
Sarma would say it's cold blooded. <laughs> yeah, I have theory for both actually. Uh, because एक एक ये एक्सट्रीम पे एक दूसरे एक्सट्रीम पे इट्स ओनली व्हेन यू आर एक्सट्रीमली पैशनेट अबाउट समथिंग एंड व्हेन दैट थिंग ब्रेक्स इट गोस टू द अदर एक्सट्रीम ऑफ रिवेंज सो यू आर एक्सट्रीमली पैशनेट ओवर वन थिंग ओनली देन वुड यू गो फॉर अ रिवेंज फॉर द अदर एक्सट्रीम रिवेंज या आई हैव थ्योरी फॉर बोथ अम अ अ क्राइम ऑफ पैशन व्हाई अ बिकॉज़ एवरीथिंग ही डिड टू हिज वाइफ एंड डॉग can be considered as 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 way as his ways of setting examples he destroyed the face of the wife because he never liked the face so what i'll do is i just fuck the face so wohi, not not so, not quite literally but so basically wahi hua na ki aap itna usse no, no, no. kar rahe ho no no so in criminology a uh, 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 crime of passion is is by is is of criminals who like killing people or like to commit that particular crime acha that is different what Haan. he was saying is different no no the same thing the he just thing. hates it Haan. he just hates it what is seeing every day yeah yeah so he will so it's like you know he he kept inside himself himself, himself and finally found a reason ke tune jo mere sath kiya this is the final this is where I draw the line now it's my time to show you what i can do and i'll first go uh, uh, you know tumhare face pe main jaunga why because i never liked it from the very beginning you like savio bhai i said you asked for kids i gave you kids a dog a proper house i have been trying to get a job even though i'm not able to get to one mm-hmm. but still you are not happy you know what fuck you i'm going to go to that face because that face is is everything that i see every morning mm-hmm. you know and that face is constantly saying me that you are a person that couldn't do anything in life and now you are having an affair also yeah lekin ठीक है नहीं बट वे हिट ना बाकी है ठीक है सो वो हुआ सो द फेस पार्ट एंड इसलिए दैट्स व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से कि ही वेंट टू द द द पॉइंट वेयर ही हैज टू यूज हिज बेयर हैंड टू पुल आउट हर टंग हर आईज एंड एवरीथिंग आई वाज कमिंग टू दैट ओनली वेयर ही कुड हैव जस्ट टेकन अ नाइफ एंड जस्ट स्लिट हिज थ्रोट जस्ट स्टैब्ड हर टू डेथ व्हिच आर सिंपल मर्सी यू नो किलिंग्स दैट्स व्हाट दे आर कॉल्ड बट वो वो पॉइंट में नहीं गया बिकॉज ही वॉन्टेड टू सेट एन एग्जाम्पल कि डूड द थिंग्स यू डिड टू मी दिस इज वॉट यू गेट फॉर इट ही नेवर लाइक द डॉग द डॉग केम ओनली फॉर क्रिश्चियन बिकॉज क्रिश्चियन वॉज यू नो फीलिंग लोनली एंड ऑल घर पे बिकॉज वेन इट्स गो आउट फॉर जॉब तो वो लेके आया था द डॉग वॉज लाइक यू ऑल्सो सपोर्टेड हर राइट एंड वो लोग लड़ भी रहे होंगे कुछ चल रहा होगा इफ यू रिमेम्बर लास्ट टाइम वी आर ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस द डॉग माइड बी रिएक्टिंग यू नो ट्राइंग टू स्टॉप दैम सो ही थॉट द डॉग इज सपोर्टिंग हर लेकिन एक पेट पेट को 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 मारने के लिए, पेट को रिप करने के लिए लिए या किसी को भी रिप करने के लिए, I mean, I don't know. So that's what, Pooja, you're talking about a man who ripped off his wife's face. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about a dog. So that's what uh, crime of passion is. You know, they will go to minor details to set example to show that who's the boss. You know, so all this while you dominated me. See who's the boss now. See who's dead now. I'm not. That is one. Then what you ये आया होगा अभी ट्रंक करके गिटार बजा. Then another one is what you said the uh, uh, for revenge, the crime for revenge. Even that could be a very high possibility because the humiliation he went through, like you explained, uh, for a man who is in depression and all is going through all those humiliation over the life. I think वो बहुत humiliation पे गया होगा. And सबसे ज़्यादा from his wife only. Extreme गया है exorcism के time. Exorcism के time पे. उसमें क्या क्या नहीं किया है? so i see this as a climate right and then season and then the tide yeah so when you talk about the climate he was already depressed mm. so he had the tendencies of being a, a a stone cold killer yeah right so he was harboring those things from the start and then he never liked his wife's face as yeah. you said and he, he he doesn't he didn't like a lot of things that are happening in his life so he was already slowly and steadily turning himself to be a killer like uh as a part of uh, you know his imagination as uh, an escape route that you know what some day or the other i need to do something that i i can take control yeah, of myself yeah. right now my boss is running my life for me he can fire me anytime all the colleagues are laughing at me people are looking at me with suspicious uh, uh, eyes yeah. because i don't join any congregation i don't join any church and my wife itself is 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 being really boring so i don't want to be at home my children and then after she's also talking to her, her, ch- my, her children and my, even my children also have no respect so he was harboring this so that was that formed the climate or the basis of his character right then afterwards came the season season came when when he joined the church right and all those things whatever been do, uh, uh, what was being done to him and all those things whatever that came as a secondary reason 
like uh, he he i i think i mean i think he's thought that by joining the church by uh, joining the congregation by joining okay you wanted me to uh, you wanted me to be a man of god okay fine i become a man of god and after just to show his wife or whoever like that he, he or his friend or whatever to impress all the employers in the state he wanted to become a good devout christian or, so or, he became a good person or he could or just to blend in just to blend in and he did that and that became a second you know a uh, uh, tipping point or a boiling point for him right so that there came the crime of passion yeah. so first it was like cold blooded then after it became like a a a, a man passion. of passion so even when passion didn't work what happened in the end the immediate cause of the murder was the botched up exorcism and he could find only one person who who may could take it all upon it was christine, christine and i the think dog. Uh, i think the dog was collateral yeah you know one thing that we don't get to read here i am of course agar thoda sa aur research karenge to milega what if he was a serial killer from the very beginning he has mm-hmm. done multiple other killings even before he met christian for that matter did he yeah but i mean i'm just saying there there Achha, could be if it there's was a report of it this information no 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 there's no report of it there's no report of it and if he's cha- see there are signs you know if he's changing job to job is changing from cities to cities ye he's trying to blend is, in these are few huge red flags ki wo depressed uh, whatever symptoms of depression hai uska job kahi nahi tik raha hai he's not mingling much much with people and you know these are all signs of uh, where the person is the withdrawal symptoms yeah and as he said there is a high chance ki ho sakta hai yaar because starting mein bhi jo hum bol rahe the ki bahut shaan dikhna doesn't mean that the person is shaan yeah. it could be actually a criminal sitting inside still what is run deep yeah exactly yeah yeah so you know that there are many many so many things to it so many ways to figure out this one case and still the possibility still lies he could be all possessed okay one demon. question aur ye pichli baar bhi aaya tha mere mind mein ki after his uh, uh, whenever he was taken away and uh, uske baad jab wo jail mein gaya tha jail mein dala gaya tha usko ha, right did he still continue with the symptoms of possession i i don't know i do not have that information wo cheez hame like you know that is something very important because if he was possessed अगर एक्सोसिज्म कर कर के उसका कुछ लाइक यू नो ही वाज नॉट एक्सरसाइज्ड एंड देन ही किल्स हिज वाइफ ही किल्स द डॉग देन ही वाज टेकन एंड पुट इन द पुट बिहाइंड द बार्स तो वहां पर भी तो ही शुड हैव कंटिन्यूड कंटिन्यूड एंड नहीं बट नहीं 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 सी अभी फॉर एन एक्शन टू हैव अ रिएक्शन देयर नीड टू बी एट लीस्ट वन पर्सन अराउंड और विद हिम I can be all angry, but I need a person to react to my anger to create a situation कि अच्छा इसको गुस्सा आ रहा है। अरे possessed इंसान है यार। हाँ, but then possessed इंसान क्या show करेगा? He doesn't show anything. If he's if, so technically, I'm just going by all the technicalities no, and. I think I think by what uh, puja means is I mean what puja means is uh, if at all he was possessed in society and he took it upon Christine. so that murder should have continued along with his inmates also at least one ha because jahan se usne he will be attacked aggression usne pehle se dikhane chalu kiya tha kafi or or what happened i'm talking what happened in the conjuring part uh, in the movie is i think uh, i don't know if it is shown or not and i may be completely wrong i think k where when he constantly claimed that uh, he is uh, the, the the crime was committed by the devil he was put into a uh, men- like the mental acha ekdam secluded area secluded, secluded. And because they thought that he is schizophrenic or that he is having something else and that could harm other inmates so, so he was never allowed to stay with any other inmate acha okay he was in isolation he was in isolation there is a possibility ki possessed insaan hai so he can't be with anybody no no not but necessarily then, but then puja in that case then the aggression should have been displayed towards the jailer at least of any any care nahi but then questions. but then see but technically from a criminal's point of view the aggression will still be there possessed or not because no one likes staying behind the bars no so the aggression towards the jailer will still be there and if the jailer is a non believer and even if he's doing all convulsions and everything in front of a jailer there is like i don't give a fuck you have committed a crime exactly. just sort of fine in there if it is not recorded so we don't so know so those things are not not uh, they have never come out because shayad kabhi prison mein kuch hua hi nahi wo sab cheeze 
शायद ही वॉज कैप्टन एंड इट्स नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर ही वॉज हाउ मेनी ईयर्स ओल्ड So, I think it's, that's why people are uh, I mean in 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 law right now even in India people are put behind bars less and put for uh, psychiatric uh, more um, yeah so if you can prove yourself to be psychiatrically insane you get uh, clemency so yeah 48 now 48 now he thodi 1974 mein paida hua tha wo oh oh god i yeah sorry <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm not finding the paper though, but it it all happened in 1974. Ah, he was already sorry. father to five kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not finding whatever it is. But uh, uh, but but uh, Savebhai, what would be your point of view to the fact that he constantly said that it was the blood of Satan? What was he trying to say? I don't know. As Pooja just mentioned right now, I mean, he according to him, the blood of Satan. and it was not his blood that was there on him when he was found yeah. so even last time i spoke about this that what if it was christine who made him do it mm. and christine was the main reason why he 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 did everything for her provided her everything that a man can provide his wife and uh, christine was the one who was uh, you know taunting him every now and then that you're good for nothing you're good we for nothing we don't know the other side we don't know the story. other side of the story exactly. really so that's what the last time also i mean if you remember at the same thing that what if it was she who prodded him into committing all these things she who prodded him and said that you know what this job is worthless you leave it this job is worthless you leave it you cannot provide me this so leave it and uh, that exactly i mean you know uh, became another brick in the wall for him and he was like completely getting secluded every now and then and finally i mean as i said the final nail in the coffin came when he was exorcised or i wouldn't say exorcised he was been i guess uh, uh, abused yeah. not so exorcism exorcism the way there are, there are way more harsh methods of exorcism i think in later podcast episodes we can certainly discuss about it but there are methods which are way more harsh and violent than what i just shared but that's a topic for a different podcast another point of view that i'm seeing here is koi yeah, nahi main wahi bol rahi hu ki animal will snap out yaar iske agar is acha khasa insaan forget if he is possessed acha khasa insaan will snap out and nahi true true nahi uh, what i'm trying to put here is another point of view where uh, michael could be all schizophrenic and he had a mental issue and uh, if a person is going through schizophrenia and if you are playing along those hallucinations that he is seeing it will only trigger more and why uh, the hallucinations uh, do play a very uh, vital role if we are trying to conclude the deeds he did is because let's say by hallucination after he was exorcised or so he thought that now that is exorcised he is a man of god he has been sent by the god to you know to exorcise or punish the devil and he saw the devil in christine because he never liked it somewhere or the other no pehle to wo prove ho hi chuka hai ki he never liked karke <laughs> so he was just trying to save the earth from the satan which he killed and said it's the blood of satan so this is a new angle to wow. it wow <laughs> and the dog was the hell hound that was just out there ouch because hallucination could <laughs> fuck everything up that's what mm-hmm. schizophrenia people go through i just recently shared uh, a video on my instagram channel where uh, channel as an instagram account where yeah, the schizophrenic patient uh, you saw that i shared on the in the group too yeah, those yeah, yeah. sounds were that, that's what yeah. uh, you know schizophrenic patients hear it has all kinds of sounds from hearing you are an idiot from a random voice to all the growls and everything and seeing himself as Michael, the savior, the archangel, you know, mm-hmm. punishing Satan. I'd handled one Satan. case. I'd handled one case like this where yeah. one, one uh, lady said that uh, this was a case of thought transference, and she said that this was uh, put into her mind by others, and she was hearing strange demons or strange people telling her that she is worth ah, kill I, I, yourself, kill yourself. It was the same uh, lady. I think you're talking about that lady only few years back. It came. No, she stayed somewhere here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember Ooh. that. Just for client uh, okay, privacy, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't be <laughs> willing to yeah. share who. But yes, yeah, yeah. Me, who yeah. as in, thoda sa agar. I think I think I think the case came and we both were like the only person who can handle this is Savio. I just give it to him. 
so i think he was handling it directly and it came from another organization yeah oh, it was passed okay, on okay 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 yeah 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 i remember got it got it got it yeah mm. yeah yeah you're saying mm. so i mean that's what so as you said i mean those, those voices are real yeah, yeah. But you can hear us very much very much yeah. and for a person who is that crazy i mean he will never be able to know whether from where the voice is coming now uh, my recommendation on this in exorcism was i asked her to change the battlefield to my yeah. mind and just let go of those right okay. just ignore like uh, as i always keep saying if you go to a dhaba if you go to a, a roadside eatery and if there is a dog who's approaching you you throw a bone at the dog and the dog will definitely come because it's got attention but you ignore the dog and the dog will leave yeah. and find some other person to it's like the same way with beggars and stuff right you give them audience they will definitely take from you but if you just ignore them they will go about to someone else so over here it was the same thing i mean uh, this guy probably oh, who, who, who you're talking about the schizophrenic voices in his head probably all those voices came from his wife yeah and somehow from you know uh, all the perspectives jo hum logo ne dekhe hai i'm somehow getting more reson- most resonant with this actually might be but i i love that angle that uh, even sarva gave that he was i mean delinquent right from the start ah. delusional right from the start and he just saw this as an opportunity okay fine now you declare me a man of god i'm exorcised so yeah <laughs> take this wait <laughs> very 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 different perspective very different angle give it i mean anything is possible because we don't know any more yeah, facts that's the, the case. at the end of the day hum wahan pe nahi the so the only thing he must be 77 right now if hmm. he's still alive but दो हाथ से टाली बचती है पूजा के पीछे ही है वो तीन लोग जिन्होंने अप्रूव किया था ऑफ द मतलब परफॉर्म द एक्सरसिज्म एंड हु अप्रूव्ड इट एज वेल आई एम सॉरी बट दिस गाय लुक्स पीपल हु नो पीपल पीपल हु नो अ फेस रीडिंग आई मीन लुक एट दिस गाय दिस दिस गाय लुक्स सोललेस वो शक्ल देख के ही लग रहा है यार ही इज रेवरेंड पीटर विंसेंट एंड द रेवरेंड रेमंड स्मिथ पीपल हु नो फेस रीडिंग वी विल सी एंड प्रोबब्ली आई मीन यू वुड नो बेटर even i wonder how the bishop of uh, the church dr tracy here um, tracy i think his name approved no no he he called the ceremony unwise so i even uh, he has he had his own doubts Achha, he, on he what they went to and it was a matter of one night so i guess he wasn't even consulted exactly wow. which is also technically church wise it's illegal and not correct matlab there could be a matlab i think there could be a part two of this podcast who knows of this episode particularly uh, because uh, if you are going against and doing it there could be a committee set up to investigate what made you take that step and no matter how much the priest says can i saw the devil in him and i took the step you still have to explain uh, what you went through mera ek question hai again you know you both as you both being exorcists अभी जैसे इसमें बताया था दैट दे डिड ऑल दैट स्टफ मुंह में वो घुसाना एंड वट एवर दे डिड एंड देन दे टेल हिम कि अच्छा तुम अब घर जाओ हाँ एंड फिर अब तुम कल आना मीन्स इट्स लाइक क्या डॉक्टर की विजिट है क्या हाँ अब मैंने तुम्हें चेक कर लिया तुम अब घर जाओ तुम नहीं डॉक्टर डॉक्टर की विजिट भी अलग है डॉक्टर की विजिट भी कैसे कि आप डॉक्टर के पास गए डॉक्टर ने आपके मुंह के अंदर हाथ डाल दिया हाथ डाल के लिटरली इंटरस्टैंड एंड निकाल, निकाल के बोला कि हाँ अब घर जाओ बाकी का इंटरस्टैंड कल निकालेंगे दिस पार्ट वाज नॉट क्लियर टू मी एंड वो पूरी वाइफ के साथ अब तुम जाओ घर Which is also not safe. Half exorcism में है वो. For a for person who is declared possessed, exactly, is said to have been possessed by what more than forty demons or so. हाँ, जिसमें से ज़्यादातर निकल गए तीन demons अभी भी हैं. And you're still allowing generally ये नहीं होता. There are so many loopholes in this case. Very much. And like it was all pre-planned. ऐसा लग रहा है कि it was a crime that was done in a very harsh manner. In cahoots with each other, everyone knew about it. Yeah. What is going to happen? and uh, as in whatever uh, who i mean there are so many things that are coming to my head right now his wife might be having an affair with his friend yeah. who actually recommended him to go to the church that. who knows <laughs> so she was an actual devil there isliye to blood of satan 
Uh, Shit. <laughs> it's so amazing the cases we are discussing. I think it will be amazing someday that we take this podcast to a live audience. Hmm. You know, do it in front of a live audience where people are sitting and watching this podcast where they can also share their experiences, their point of views. In the comments, yeah. Yeah, let us ask. know if you would like us to take uh, this podcast live to some city. Abhi city matlab Mumbai se shuru karenge agar karna ho to. But if you are interested and if you like us to do that, we would love to do that. All three of us, we would, you know, create this entire setup and everything. Or, heck, might just invite you to our studio to, you know, be a part of this live recording that we are doing. But uh, if you are interested, let us know in the comments. But yeah, this is what Michael Taylor was. Sad story again. You know what uh, he went through. Uh, maybe we should research more, and if there is more. maybe we can have another uh, part to this this topic of michael taylor because this there are a lot of loopholes lot, lot of loopholes. ifs and uh, assum- assumptions and things that we have no conclusion about no story about and uh, because bahut sare mujhe abhi baithe baithe dikh rahe hain ke you know there's so many ways uh, this case could have gone but it went ek hi direction mein so there are a lot of things at play right now right now as in was at play when uh, the the crime was committed but whatever happened to christian even for that matter was sad to the dog very very sad and to michael for that matter and to ch- to the children to the children also. too yeah they were often all yeah. no fault of theirs yeah yeah sad sad yeah that's it actually uh, i think that's all we have for michael taylor if you are still sticking to uh, this abhi tak aap log ne dekh liya hai thank you so much uh, again thank you for all the love all the support you people have been showing to the podcast it has been amazing and overwhelming because we are not expecting it but uh, now that we have seen ki aapko kitna acha lag raha hai we are you know recording it at 2 am of the night uh trying That's to put in 3 o'clock it is 3 now yeah trying to bring in the best episode the best cases to you there are more that are lined up um so uh, podcast will be coming uh mahine ke 3 hafte mein podcast aane wale hain baki jo ek jo ek do hafta jo bhi hai depending on uh, every month there will be investigation vlogs and other videos that will be coming in but teen episode aa rahe hain for sure uh aaj jo hum log record kar rahe hain aaj ek episode aaya and you know other response was amazing during the live chat and we really love talking to you people when you are live uh, watching the premiere we love your responses we love saying hi to you hello to you thank you for asking how we are and thank you to a uh, one particular guy this guy uh, this guy he he donated 100 rupees that day through the super chats uh while the previous episode previous in the first episode was being premiered uh kalol thank you so much that guy is my old uh classmate from my 10th grade we were you know we are still very good friends though but uh thank you so much yaar you know it's, it means a lot yeah it thank means a lot uh, even as a team because uh, we generally don't see many of our friends supporting what we do especially when it comes to monetarily things and uh, you coming in and just doing that thank you so much uh, from 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 everyone of us from pairs especially and that's it thank you so much for watching this is ghost and counters unfiltered podcast and uh, agar aapko videos nahi dekhni hai the links are in the description for spotify apple podcast and uh, if you are watching or if you are listening there then do uh, rate us do answer the questions that we are putting it would really help us to reach out to more people and please do subscribe please do comment down your favorite moment from this podcast and let us know if you have any questions that you want us to answer during this podcast we would love to take your name and your question and respond it individually as well as a team so feel free to do that and uh, have a good night everyone uh, if you are watching in the morning good morning everyone this is sarbajit signing off pooja signing off and savio also signing off bye bye everyone